Hey everyone, it's Jessica and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's thrifting in 2022 video. So I did purchase four items on today's Goodwill thrifting trip and I will share with you everything that I purchased at the end of today's video and I will also show you how I used those items. But first I'm going to take you around and show you anything that caught my eye on today's trip or anything that I think you guys might want to see. If you are new here, I do mainly go thrifting for home decor, things that I can use, and gifts for friends and family. If you enjoy thrifting content like this, I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. And also, let me know what your favorite item was on today's trip. I really enjoy hearing from you guys. So the day that I'm posting this video, which is December the 21st, is the first day of winter here in the United States, and yeah, I'm already ready for spring. Let me know if you are too. I thought these two plates right here were really pretty and they kind of reminded me of what it looks like when you look inside of a kaleidoscope. They had the same kind of pattern. So I was really curious to see what was inside of this Wedgwood box. I was half expecting it to be empty, but to my surprise, there were two beautiful glasses inside and these are actually my style. I really liked them and they were a great deal at only $8.79 for the pair. These things can be expensive, brand new. Even though they were beautiful and such a great deal, I did decide to go ahead and pass on them. With Christmas being only four days away, I'm sure someone would love to snatch these up and give these as a gift. Okay, you guys, you could not even pay me 
to take this next item home with me. I remember smelling these last year at TJ Maxx and I thought I was going to puke. These are mac and cheese candles and they do smell like mac and cheese, but they smell like mac and cheese that's been sitting in the bottom of a dumpster. They are just so nasty. Like I can't even believe these were being sold in the store. I'm really hoping whoever donated this candle got it as a gag gift. And if you did smell these when they were in TJ Maxx, let me know what you thought of them. And moving right along from the nasty candle, I spotted this beautiful Joy to the World serving platter. And when I flipped it over, I noticed on the back, somebody wrote Merry Christmas. So this was probably part of somebody's Christmas gift at one point. I'm so glad I'm finished with all of my Christmas shopping and you'll have to let me know down below if you are too. So if you are new here, this is Peanut and she is my thrift haul inspector and she's really excited to see what's in that bag behind her. And you'll have to let me know if you think she approved of today's haul. So the first item that I purchased from today's trip was that five pack of takeout style gift boxes for $1.28. They were originally from Target and the original price was $5 for these. So when I was out doing some of my Christmas shopping, I picked up several of these restaurant gift cards to give to like teachers and friends. And when I saw these takeout boxes today, I thought they would be perfect to put the gift cards inside of, along with some other little random goodies. And the next item that I purchased from today's trip was that beautiful botanical clipboard that I shared earlier in the video. I loved it and you can't go wrong at 59 cents. I actually needed a clipboard so I was really happy to find this one here. I thought the print on it was beautiful, it was nice and sturdy, and I really liked the gold capped corners. I thought that was a really nice detail. So it's probably no surprise that I purchased that little Himalayan salt lamp night light that I shared earlier in the video. It was only $1.87 and I needed a little night light to go in my downstairs bathroom. I used a magic eraser to get that price off of it and now I'm just gonna plug it up and show you what it looks like. And the very last item that I purchased on today's Goodwill thrifting trip was that measuring cup that I shared earlier in the video. I thought it was a great deal at only $1.19. It's a lot larger than the Pyrex measuring cup that I already owned. This one is a two cup measuring cup and my Pyrex is a one cup. I definitely needed a backup and I was happy to find this one here today. So that is everything that I purchased on today's Goodwill thrifting trip. And here is Peanut to let me know if she approved of today's purchases. Well, she shook her head no twice, so I'm thinking that she doesn't like what I purchased today. Maybe she's mad I didn't bring that nasty mac and cheese candle home with me. I'm not sure. Anyways, I hope this video inspires you to go thrifting. You never know what's waiting out there for you. I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas if you celebrate, and I will see you next week with a new thrifting video.